Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Pickers. Surely everyone knows what needs to be done after you break something for yourself, for example an arm or a leg. You go to the ER and they put a gypsum plaster there. If you haven't personally experienced it, then maybe you saw your friends or relatives with it. Well, today we'll make a giant house out of this gypsum. By the way, there were already early frosts, somewhere like minus 10, but nothing has changed in our Pickers land. It stand as it was. Everything looks fine. Well, hit the like button if you're waiting for spring when and we continue to build this metropolis called Ficus Land. Guys, you just look how huge it is. Yes, this is exactly the pillow that you have repeatedly seen in our videos. Sergey, what is the volume of it? Oh, it's quite huge. It's even bigger than our YouTube house. You can see it much bigger. We jumped on it, we float on it, and today we'll try to make a house out of it. And we'll live in it. Can you imagine house in the form of a pillow? Pillow house from gypsum. So we'll make our future house on the base of a paper mache. I mean, we'll take pieces of fabric, soak them up in gypsum and lay on this pillow. Then in the end, we'll deflate it and we should have a whole house in the form of a pillow. The most amazing part is that we won't even reinforce it. There will be no grit here. There will only be fabric soaked in gypsum. We want this form to remain and this house to function. Damn, this is a great experience that you might find useful. And so that the pillow doesn't move, we fix it with a wire and wooden stakes in the corners. Now all that remains is to overlay it all with gypsum. We'll also have such a window, it's just a frame that will mount into this entire structure. We'll also have such a gigantic door, because if we make the door smaller, then we are unlikely to be able to get our pillow out, because it's very large even in the deflated form. In order not to risk to make sure that our plaster doesn't stick to our pillow, we decided to lay another plastic film, which probably would be easier to tear off from the plaster. All this we'll see later. Like take down all the pretty pictures. We especially leave the pillow overnight to make sure that it wouldn't deflate and that the plaster could be safely applied. Well, how ironic it sounds to put plaster on a pillow. Look how big our house is going to be. Damn, from here it looks really huge, just like our garage. I begin the electrician has always made a whole lighting system in our house and it will be very interesting to fasten it or rather we'll just throw it on the pillow and plaster it. Look, I'm Jedi Master. One over here and over there. That's it. We took agrofiber as a base. This is such a white translucent fabric that are used to cover the crops. Well, we'll soak it in gypsum and this will be the base of our future house. There are very small holes in it and because of this it will get well soaked. Holes are needed for crops to breathe. But in our case in order for the gypsum to penetrate right. Right, so that it's well soaked. You look like a laundress. Opa. Opa. What? There it is. Well, exactly like this way, we put this agrofiber sheds on it and make our house. Well, we're doing this for half a day. Now the next one. Get it out. Yeah. It looks really interesting.
I like to work with gypsum because of the convenience and speed. Unlike a concrete mortar, cement and so on, it dries in a few minutes, maybe just about 10 to 15 minutes or even 20 minutes. That's all. It becomes solid. Yes, really. So that you understand, this all we have done in about three hours. Can you imagine? It's indeed very surprising for me. In my This plastic is very pleasant to the touch, but to wash your hands later it will be difficult, I guess. And now we're gonna do something what we did with the ice house. We'll simply pour the escapism onto the house. So guys, our construction is ready. For all these we use 400 kg of gypsum. Can you imagine 400 kgs? And more than 100 meter of agrofiber. Can you imagine how much material went into this? And now the solemn moment has come when it's possible to deflate the pillow and see from the inside what we have got. Look what kind of rock we got, white rock. We smeared here everything manually, pure gypsum and smear it with our hands, so it turned out cool. Although to me it looks like a piece of dot. Well, what do you think, guys? Well, do you understand how solemn at the same time alarming moment is at? Because this entire structure can collapse, it is without reinforcement, without any support nets or other fortifications, it can crash at any moment and all of our three-day work will be useless. We made a hole here specifically to lower down our pillow because here it has a special wall that will allow us to deflate this pillow. Well, I probably don't have enough strength to press it, so I don't know. All right, drum rolling. Oh. We heard the sound. And now with trepidation, we are waiting for what will come out of it. Do you hear the sound? It's cracking. Cracking? Oh no! A giant plaster will just collapse now. I'm afraid. Well, this moment is really exciting because we don't know whether it will withstand or not. I really hope it does because from this it will be possible to make both a house and a sauna. There we can even dig a pool in it. Look how big the area is. We can have an indoor pool. We didn't have such a pool yet. It will be awesome. Well, hit the likes if you want us to make a heated pool there. An indoor heated pool. We can swim there in winter. Yes. We'll take a steam bath in Fikasland and then swim in this pool. It's really cool idea. Look how cool it turned out. The main thing, it's all even. Wow. There, it looks like a tunnel. I really want everything to work out. It will be so awesome. We were afraid that the gypsum would stick to the plastic film, but look, it's coming off itself and we get a very smooth surface, beautiful and even one. We decided not to wait because it's getting dark and to make an aggregate that will quickly pump the ear out of our pillow. I just connect the pipe to the other side of our fan. Well, now let's see if it works. Oh, it's deflecting! Watch how quickly it's deflating now! Here it looks like in an ice cave. And the last thing is to take the deflated pillow and put it out on the street because it's absolutely no longer needed here, only takes up space, the house turned out really big. Well, now let's furnish it. Shall I turn on the light? Of course, it's already dark. So, one, two, three. Wow! 
Look how bright it's here! Damn, everything looks so cool here! It's even cooler than our cement house! <laughs> How do you feel? Great, I found the warmest place in our house and warming myself. Cool! Well, look how spacious it's here. I'm laying here in this corner and you can see how much free space it's still around. Guys, after the house we made from egg trays, this is probably the second biggest house we have ever built. It's huge with a massive room. Hangar! <laughs> Just made of plaster, simply unbelievable. See how far we are from each other? Well, that will be your part of the room, right? And this is mine. As you noted, this house is so big that we didn't have enough furniture to furnish it all. See how much more space is left there. So we must make a pool. Yes, if you like the idea, be sure to hit the thumbs up. And in the next video, we'll put a partition here with wall. One side will have a sauna and other side will make a pool. But to me, it seems that we can just make a huge pool. That's all. There will be an indoor pool here. We'll just make a hidden system inside. So write in the comments, what do you want us to do? here and be sure to like this video help us to get motivated to do this all around there's no one but you he hold my heart oh cool we also got a ventilation here. Here the overlook became even cooler. Also due to the fact that we didn't make the base from a single piece of agrofiber, but from several pieces, inside we get the impression that this house is made just from some kind of fabric. I mean, just look here. You really can't believe that this is plaster. Well, it turned out to be a cool giant plaster house. From real gypsum, guys. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and also write in the comments what you want to see in the next videos. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.